uh, the midpoint of the line. So if you have two coordinates, you have the coordinate A, which has points X1, Y1, and also have the coordinate B, which has points X2, Y2, uh, in that order. So the coordinates of point M, of the midpoint, which we, we call M, uh, of the line that joins A to B can be given by X2 plus X1 divided by 2, then Y2 plus Y1 divided by 2. So what we do basically is that we add the, we add the individual X coordinates and divide by 2 to get the X coordinate of the midpoint. And then we also add the individual Y coordinates, that is Y1 and Y2, and then we divide by 2 to get the midpoint of the line that joins point A and B. Okay, so we are not going to look at the proof, but we are just going to apply it. We're just going to apply and we look at how we can find the midpoint of the line joining any two points. Uh, so to start with an example, we are going to start with the midpoint of the line joining the points negative 2, 1, and 6, 5. Uh, so the midpoint of this line joining these two points, if I call it M, it will be, remember M, we are using the formula, M is given by X1 plus X2 divided by 2, and then the Y, the Y coordinate of the midpoint is Y1 plus Y2 divided by 2. Okay, so on these points that we have, so we shall, we shall, if, if the, we shall call this X1, then this will be Y1. And if this is X2, then this will be Y2. So we can go ahead and substitute and look for the midpoint. So the midpoint will end up being negative two plus six divided by two. And then the y coordinate of the midpoint will be 1 plus 5 divided by 2. Uh, so finally, we shall end up with this plus this divided by 2. We end up getting 4 out of 2. Um, and the answer, is, the answer is 2. And then 1 plus 5 is 6. When we divide by 2, we get the answer as 3. So the midpoint of that line joining this point to this is two, three. So this is the coordinate of the midpoint of the line joining this point to this point. So in the same way we can do, we can find the midpoint which joins this point to this. Uh, we still follow the same procedures. So in this case, uh, for part B, we shall get negative two, we add it to negative eight. For the x coordinate of the midpoint, we divide by 2. Then for the y coordinate, we shall get 6 plus negative 5. Uh, we divide by 2. Uh, so finally, negative 2 plus negative 8 gives us negative 10. So we end up with negative 10 divided by 2. And then 6 plus negative 5, that gives us 1 out of 2. So the final answer now becomes a negative 10 out of 2, that is negative 5, and then 1 divided by 2, still it remains as a half, or if you are rated in decimal point form, it is 0 0.5. So this is the midpoint of the line which joins this coordinate negative 2, 6 to the coordinate negative 8, negative 5. Uh, we can do the same with part C, uh, the one that joins 3, 8 with 1, 6. Uh, still using the same procedure. All we need to do is, all we need to do is the midpoint will be given by, so if I'm to, I have to find the X coordinate, it will be 3 plus 1 divided by 2. And then the y coordinate will be 8 plus 2 divided by 2. And finally, this will be given by 4 out of 2. And then here we shall end up having 10 out of 2. 
such that the, the final answer we have four out of two which is two and ten out of two which is five as the midpoint of that one so basically 